Morning. Hair of the dog. Yeah, it looks lovely. Have you just had it cut? <laughs> Do you know what I like about you? Finished. <laughs> so, what are you doing for bonfire night? Nothing planned. Shame, really. I used to love it when I was a kid. It used to be so exciting. Writing my name with sparklers, toffee apples. I see why I changed it to Lucy. <laughs> why don't we do something tonight? We could go on the roof of the flats and light some fireworks. What, just me and you? Yeah. Well, and my good friends Jacob Screek, Buck Sviz, <laughs> and Rose Alatesco. I think I'd like them. I think you would. They're all such pissheads they've named themselves after wine. <laughs> Come on. Can't a lodger treat his landlady? I'll create poetry in the sky. Screaming Exocet, Armageddon flashbangers, napalm showers. Poetry? Maybe you should stick to the limericks. There was an old woman from China who had an enormous... No, thank you. <laughs> OK. Let's do it. Great. But you know a decent firework display can cost a couple of hundred quid, don't you? I don't remember using the word decent. <laughs> Maybe I should just nail you to the wall, set fire to your feet, and watch you spin round in a circle whilst you whistle. <laughs> that joke would have been funny if your name was Catherine. He's early. Uh, if that's my taxi, can you tell him I won't be long? I'm just going to make myself look respectable. I'll tell him to turn the engine off. World's slowest burglary. <laughs> Sorry, can I help you? Who are you? I'm Lee. Put the television on. Sorry? What you doing here? I live here. I don't like porridge, you know. Am I having little blackouts between these sentences? <laughs> what time is Brian getting here? What's your favourite type of zebra? Pardon? Just thought I'd join him with the game. It looks like fun. Hello. Sorry, you are... I slept with him last night. <laughs> She's not firing on all cylinders. I don't want the intimate details. I don't even know her name. This isn't getting any better. She's confused. I know how she feels. She keeps wondering why I'm in her flat. I know how she feels. <laughs> and she keeps fantasising about having sex with me. Your turn. <laughs> she just wandered in. She's, you know... What? The wheel's still spinning, but the hamster's dead. Oh, beautifully put. Please, tell me more about that woman from China. Her vag... No! <laughs> Where do you live, darling? I live here. No, you don't. I live here. With that. With my boyfriend. Will you please stop saying that? I think you may have got the wrong house. Oh, no. Have I done it again? Oh, that's OK. We all get a little confused now and again, sweetheart. Don't patronise me or I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> you can take care of the situation, seeing as you let her in. I didn't let her in. She confused me with her non-sequiturs and overpowering smell of biscuits. <laughs> I'm going to be late. Just sort it out. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> I know twisters for perverts, but you're making it a bit too easy for them. I'm trying to decide what to wear to my goddaughter Nancy's birthday party tomorrow. What's the theme? Coco the transvestite clown. <laughs> oh, good. Is this your rent money? You're early. It was due three days ago. Like I say, you're early. <laughs> Actually, it's not the rent. Well, what is it, then? It's for a bet on tomorrow's Grand National. There's a horse running called Lucky Lee. I am telling you, it is an omen. All right. Well, maybe I should have a bet, too. No, I can't see any horses called the exploited landlady or the gullible idiot. <laughs> maybe you should go for the one called Churchtown Flyer. Why? It's so a right old nag. Listen to me. OK, anything else, Woody Woodpecker? <laughs> uh, 
Hi, Lucy. Kerry! What a lovely surprise. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. I get so used to it, it doesn't shock me anymore. <laughs> What's the matter? Is Nancy all right? Oh, she, she's fine, but there's been a fire. My whole house has been destroyed. Maybe I should go for the one called Firestarter. <laughs> Let me get you a drink. It's OK. I can't stay. I've, I've just got a big favour to ask of you, Lucy. I'm going to have to cancel tomorrow's birthday party unless I can find someone else to host it. I mean, I, I won't even be there because I, I've got to find us a new flat and then there's the loss of justice. Hey, <laughs> of course I'll host it. It's the Grand National tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I, I really don't want to inconvenience you, Lucy. You're not, Kerry. Is she, Lee? Look... You've had a huge traumatic thing happen to you. It's at times like these that people need to make sacrifices. I'm sure little Nancy will understand if she doesn't have a party. <laughs> of course we'll do it. In fact, why not bring Nancy around this afternoon? That way you can sort some things out and we can work out what she wants to do tomorrow. Don't worry, Nancy and Lee will get on like a... <laughs> hot cake. <laughs> Lucy? Hello? If you're a burglar, I've got a really nice urn you can have. <laughs> oh, don't worry about me granddad. He was already dead. What are you doing, Daisy? Creeping round like a gimp in a bin bag. I'm going on a hen night next week and the theme is superheroes and supervillains, so I just borrowed this off Lucy. It's Catwoman. Catwoman didn't have whiskers. Of course she did. She was Catwoman. So? Batman didn't sleep upside down and Robin didn't go bob bob bobbing along. <laughs> oh, you are here. I've just been up in the loft to lend Daisy that costume. I've got loads of them up there, didn't I ever tell you? You never told me we had a loft. There's a hatch through there next to the bathroom. Well, what's in there? A bath, a sink. You should pop your head in there one day. In the loft? Just things from a misspent youth. Costumes, records... This? I'm glad you bought that, because I've been wanting to put up some shelves and I could only find those two-foot sponge nails. I didn't buy it. On my first ever date with my first ever boyfriend, he won it. Why, did he go out with you for a bet? Well, I suppose you could say it was a gamble for both of us, but it paid off. Why? Did you take it each way? Because we fell in love. Our first date was a fun fair. Scott was amazing. He kept winning all the games, you know, whack-a-mole, hook-a-duck, and, um... What's that one called where you throw the darts? Darts? <laughs> Eventually, he won this on one of the stalls and we became like a little family. Just the three of us. Me, Scott, and little MC Hammer. <laughs> oh, the three of you sound absolutely bloody unbearable. <laughs> it's called being in a loving relationship. You wouldn't understand. So why have you kept it? Oh, because of... First love is special. Why? Because it's the first. So? My first love was wagon wheels, but then... <laughs> I got older, as I matured, I discovered a man called Mr Kipling. <laughs> anyway, it's a long time ago. It's all in the past. Exactly. I'll chuck it away for you then, shall I? No, you can't touch this. <laughs> was that you or MC Emma? <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I'm meeting the hen night girls to plan next week. I took the costume off, though, obviously. Don't want to give away who I'm coming as. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Yes, please. A pint of lager and a saucer of milk, please. <laughs> well, I noticed that, once again, you're showing a little too much interest in Lucy's personal life. I overheard your little discussion when I was in the bathroom. Do you know what I think you need? Thicker walls? <laughs> Some womanly advice. I just don't think it would do any harm if you were to make her a little bit jealous for a change. What do you mean? Get a girlfriend? I know, it seems unlikely. <laughs> but it's not going to happen if you don't open yourself up to opportunity every now and again. I do open myself up to opportunity. I am always... Excuse me, I'm using that stool for me coat. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Oh, hi, Daisy. Didn't recognise you for a second. What's with the whiskers? 
<laughs> How do you know about that? It was just a small tin to get into character. <laughs> this is my friend Lee. My single friend. What time's Scylla getting here? I'm just getting the drinks in for the girls. Well, I'll, I'll go and join them and leave you two to chat. Will it be number one who says he's thinking of having his cat put down? <laughs> Do you want a drink? It's OK. We've got a kitty. I know, but she can get her own. <laughs> Why does everyone assume if you're single you have to be looking for a relationship? Exactly. You might just be looking for some casual sex. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. <laughs> I know. Unless you are just looking for some casual... Uh, no. Me neither. Um, another round of shots, please. I'm drinking them under the table. Why? You're not allowed on the furniture. <laughs> right, well, I should uh, probably get back to the girls. Um, Rachel, do you fancy going out sometime? Chinese, Mexican? Oh, go as a Mexican. <laughs> um, yeah, OK, why not? Great. What are you doing tomorrow night? I'll take it from here, Daisy. <laughs> um, actually, I am free tomorrow night, if you fancy it. Brilliant. I know a really nice restaurant in the West End. We could meet there at eight, if you like. Actually... Why don't you come round to mine first and I can introduce you to my landlady? Oh, that's a good idea. OK, well, why don't I just come round before breakfast? That way I can meet your milkman, too. <laughs> oh, no, no, they don't have a milkman. They get it from a shop. <laughs> that's considerate of you. What is? Spraying mace on yourself. Right, have I got everything? Keys, phone... Biscuit for the guide dog? <laughs> She's not blind, actually. Elderly? No. Hunchback? No. Lesbian? No. That last one turned out to be a lesbian. Yeah, but only after she went out with me. <laughs> prostitute! If she was a prostitute, why would I be taken out for dinner? I don't know, maybe you finally found one who worked for food. <laughs> Ooh, I'll tell you what. Why don't you meet the blind lesbian hunchback tart for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what about this for the hen night? It's the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not right, is it? Plus, the husband-to-be has got eczema, so it might look like I'm mocking him. <laughs> Just dropping Rachel off. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Well, like moisturise. <laughs> Rachel, you look beautiful. You scrub up well yourself. Oh, it took more than a scrub. <laughs> Chisels were involved. This is my landlady, Lucy. Hi. Lucy's staying in on her own tonight, getting hammered. Aw, <laughs> oh, he's sweet. Was it from your boyfriend? No, just someone special. <laughs> Sorry, look, I'm not treading on anyone's toes here, am I? No, of course not. I'm not the someone special. I don't know, she hasn't seen you eating yet. <laughs> No, I'm definitely in the uh, available category. That's good. You're like me. Young, free and single. Ah, free, see. Not a prostitute. <laughs> Sorry, private joke. <laughs> Shall we go? Oh, actually, Rachel, I've left my keys. I'll see you at the lift. OK. What do you reckon, eh? She's all right, isn't she? What's the matter what I think? It doesn't. Oh, by the way, at this restaurant, you might find there's lots of different cutlery on the table. Don't let it confuse you. Just remember the simple rule. Use the cutlery. 